everyone, this is Melissa, the Program Manager in Microsoft. Today, I'd love to introduce our new feature, Pronunciation Assessment, which is in preview. It is very useful in language learning environments. It evaluates pronunciation and gives speakers feedback on accuracy, fluency, and completeness. Language learners can practice and get instant feedback. Improve their pronunciation so that they can speak a foreign language with greater confidence. For partners or developers who are interested in getting started, we will use this video to guide you more. I'm going to introduce our parameter first, then invite my colleague to share the sample code and walk through how he implements a demo application. We have a set of helpful resources you can use to set up and run it at the end of this video. Okay, let's have some fun and start with our documentation website first. If you do not know where to find us, just type the short link as you see in this slide, archive.ms slash pronunciation assessment. It will take you to the right place of our recipe ID tools and sample code. As you can see from documentation, we provide parameter setting to enable flexibility to support your applications. As an extension of existing speech to text API, we do require you to input reference text, then enables pronunciation assessment capability to evaluate speech against the reference text and give you feedback on spoken audio. By default, we support five-point grading system, and you can always switch to Henry Mac. Granularity defines the smallest evaluation portion. The default setting is phony. It means you will receive other aggregate score on bigger granularity, such as word, full text level. If you switch to word, you will not receive the score on smaller granularity which means only on word and full text level, not on phony level anymore. There are multiple aspects. You can deep dive the documentation and pronunciation assessment. We call that dimension. Default basic setting will provide accuracy score and diagnosis message towards selected granularity. If you switch to comprehensive, you can get available scores and diagnosis message on all dimensions, such as accuracy, fluency, completeness towards selected granularity. Check the response parameters to know what is output available. Miss Q detection serves a purpose. The speakers may not follow the reference text well, and we want to understand what is missing such as extra and repetitive part, as well as assessment on reference text. The default setting is false. When turned on, you can receive the error message, such as insertion, omission, as additional diagnosis information. Scenario ID is offered for customization requirement, currently through White Glove channel only. If you're interested in capability, Beyond the current standard model, you can reach us. The feature currently supports English pronunciation assessment available on ENUS, East Asia, and Central Indian data centers. It also can be customized to support more than 40 languages from different countries and regions around the world. For languages we support it, you can check to the speech-to-text available language list. Okay, I will pause here and pass to my colleague, Gojin, who will show you the demo implementation. Then you will get more intuitive experience how to play with those parameters to support your application. In our demo, parameters we used is 100 mark grading system, phony granularity, comprehensive dimension to show overall accuracy, fluency, and completeness score. And we also turn down the miscue to capture the insertion and omission word. So enjoy and have fun. Thanks, Melissa. My name is Zhang Guojun 
from Microsoft Technology Center, Beijing, China. I'll do a quick demo to help you understand the capability in details. Click the record button. Try out a segment. You will get the result soon. Okay, you can see the score matrix that I mentioned by Melissa. We have TTS in this demo. It will help you know the right pronunciation of the sentence. You can choose the TTS voice you like, and here you can switch the language. Then let's go to the architecture. There are three parts. The microphone voice will be passed to the error speech service via the speech SDK and the return results are given to this assignment tool. The second part is the user interaction interface, just like I demonstrated. There is also a sentence input section from which we need to get the evaluated sentence. Okay, let's go through the code. There are three major parts. The first one is authorization. You need an Azure Speech Service Regenerate key to call the pronunciation assignment API. To obtain the key, you need to set up a speech service in the Azure portal first. In this demo, the key will be distributed to the client side after the authorization. The second part is the core part, interact with this cloud service. You need to pay attention to these four lines of code. From line 57 to 92, it shows how to call the microphone. For the line 215, that's the definition of parameters in the JSON request. Reference text is the text that the speech audio is following. Grading system is the point system for score collaboration. Now we support two types, five point and hundred mark. We choose hundred mark. And then dimension, which define the output criteria. We have two types of models. The basic model will lead to one overall score as output and the comprehensive model will output other dimension measurement scores like accuracy, fluency, and completion score on the full text level and also error type on the word level. We choose comprehensive in this demo. And next, line 219 is the endpoint URL of the pronunciation assignment API. The endpoint contains two variables, the region and the language. So far, we brought this service in three regions, West US, East Asia, Central India. We choose East Asia here. For the language, we support Chinese and English right now. And then line 226, this is the new part in the header of pronunciation assignment service, which is different from the traditional STT service. And then let's go to the line 270. That's how I differentiate the, the score with different color. Okay, let's go to the last part, the line 292. That's how I get the evaluated sentence. You can choose any way you like to do it. Maybe connect to the database directly or make a web service. I made a web service which manages the input and distribution. Okay, that's all the code. Now let's run it. Okay, it works well.
Okay, you can type your username and password.